Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So we have a man measured the angle of elevation of the top of the tower to be 70 degrees. Since the angle always with the horizontal line, so this angle is 70 degrees. Then he walked 30 meters farther. So the distance from his first observation to the second observation, that's 30 meters. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower was 35 degrees. So always with the horizontal line, so this angle is 35 degrees. Then find the distance from the top of the tower to the second observation point. So this side is the unknown. So to solve for this problem, since we have this oblique triangle, so we can use a sine law or a cosine law. It depends on the given. Since on this problem, the given, that's two angles and a side. So therefore, we can solve this problem using this sine law and the formula we have side a over sine angle a equals side b over sine angle b equals side c over sine angle c so if this angle is angle a so therefore this side is side a then if this angle is angle B, so this side is side B. And if this angle is angle C, so this side is side C. Since we can solve angle B because straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. So to solve for B, we have this 180 minus this 70 degrees. So therefore, angle B is equal to 110 degrees. So this angle is 110 degrees. Then since we have this side A, so we need to solve this angle A. And to solve for angle A, since the sum of the three angles, so we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees then to solve for angle A so A plus B so since angle B is 110 degrees plus angle C that's 35 degrees equals 180 then to solve for angle A we have this 180 minus the sum of 110 and 35, this one is 145 degrees. So therefore, angle A is equal to, so 180 minus 145, that's 35 degrees. So this one is angle A. So to solve now for this problem, using this formula, since the given side is side A, and we have this angle A, so we're going to use A to solve for this problem. So we have A over sine angle A equals, since the unknown is side B, so equals B over sine angle B. Then substitute now the values, so side A, that's 30 meters, so we have 30 over sine, angle A, that's 35 degrees, so 35 degrees equals side B, so side B is the unknown, over sine, angle B, so sine angle B, that's 110 degrees. So 110 degrees. Then to solve for B, so cross multiplication. So we have B, then sine, 
35 degrees equals, so this one is 30, then sine 110 degrees. Then to solve for B, divide both sides by sine 35 degrees, divide by sine 35 degrees. So cancel. So side B now is equal to, so we have 30 times sine 110 degrees or 110 equals then divide by sine this 35 degrees or sine 35 equal so therefore side b is equal to 49.15 so b now is equal to 49.15 meters so this one is the distance from the top of the tower to the second observation point. Then for this problem, so from the top of the building, that's 20 meters high. Then the angle of elevation of the weather balloon, so this one is the weather balloon, and the angle of elevation is 54 degrees. Since the angle always with the horizontal line, so therefore this one is 54 degrees. Then from the bottom of the building and the angle is 62 degrees. So again, the angle always with the horizontal line. So this one is 62 degrees. Then how high above the ground is the balloon? So this one is the unknown. Then to solve for this problem, since we have this an oblique triangle, so in solving for an oblique triangle, we can use sine law or cosine law. Since the given, we have these two angles and a side, so therefore, we're going to use this sine law. But first, we need to solve this side. So if this one is uh, angle A, so therefore, this side is side A. If this is angle B, so this side is side B. And if this one, angle C, so this side is side C. So to solve for this angle A, since this one is a right triangle, and right triangle is 90 degrees, so therefore, a is equal to 90 minus 62 degrees. So therefore, this angle A is equal to, so we have 90 minus 62 degrees, that's 28 degrees. So angle A is equal to 28 degrees. Then to solve for this angle B, since this one is 90 degrees and 90 plus this angle, so therefore angle B is equal to 90 degrees plus 54 degrees. So angle B is equal to 144 degrees. Then to solve for this angle C, since the sum of three angles is 180, so we have this angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And angle A, that's 28 degrees plus angle B, that's 144 degrees plus angle C, this one is the unknown. So angle C now is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of 28 degrees and this 144 degrees, this one is 172 degrees. So therefore, angle C is equal to 8 degrees. So to solve now for the side, since the given side is side C, so we can use this formula that's side C over 
sine angle C is equal to this one is the unknown so therefore B over sine angle B Stain substitute now the values so C is 24 meters so we have this 24 divided by sine angle C that's 8 degrees equals B is the unknown over sine angle B that's 144 degrees then to solve for B so cross multiplication so B then sine 8 degrees equals 24 then sine 144 degrees then divide both sides by sine 8 degrees divide by sine 8 degrees so side B now is equal to so we have 24 times sine 144 degrees or sine 144 equals then divide by sine 8 degrees or sine 8 that's 101.36 so B is 101.36 meters but again this one is the unknown so to solve for X since we have this right triangle and this side is 101.36 uh, meters since we have this right triangle, so we can use the trigonometric ratios in solving for this one. Thus, so, ka, tua, but based from this given, if this one is the reference angle, so this side is the opposite, and this side is the hypotenuse. So the given that's opposite, and the hypotenuse so we're going to use this sine function so sine theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse and theta is 62 degrees so we have sine 62 degrees is equal to the opposite that's x over the hypotenuse that's 101.36 then to solve for x, so do cross multiplication, so x is equal to 101.36, then sine 62 degrees. And to solve now for x, so we have 101.36 times uh, sine 62 degrees or sine 62 that's 89.495 or 89.50 so x is 89.50 or 0.5 meters so this is now the distance from the balloon to the ground